I have got another ILF riser here, and we're going to be using the same limbs for the uh, for the tester here from the last ILF review we did. And guys, I have this set up with a whisker biscuit, and I went I made just a little drop guard right here with the stabilizing, with a small stabilizer on it. This boat is pulling still with 55 pound limbs, it's pulling about 50 pounds. And guys, right there. It took me forever to actually make a string for this, so let's see how it does. We're about 40 yards here. Let's take a look. I can set that a little low. Small game points here that we're going to be looking into. Got these small game points right here, so we're going to see how they fly. See how they Very nicely, and like I said, I'll get you guys a little closer. Just cut the uh, I want to say the high bow. High bow, is that what it says? Yeah. Like I said, I went and made this a myself. I just bought a washer, I bought a stabilizer, and I just went and tied a shoelace in, into there, and it made a perfect drop guard. So, yeah, I put some screws in here so that I can protect the, uh, the sight holes right there. Just so that way nothing gets in there, nothing screws them up. I have these uh, tightened down to the riser right there, which goes, like I said, this is a pretty long riser right here. I want to say this is at least, I would say that is roughly 20, 25 inches, roughly. But, like I said, we're going to go and move on to the, the second thing that we got here today. We're going to go and review the recurves, so we're going to move on to that. So, what I'm going to be testing right here is it's like the same boat, but it has some different limbs on it. Let's just see how this performs. First of all, I'm going to start off with the... Practice in, it's actually really smooth. Put the stabilizer. Alright, guys, let me try this one more time. new arrowheads that arrow got. These type of arrowheads are the gain points. Let's see how they test out. Overall, 
more time, people. Remember stick, but sometimes it can incapacitate an animal or anything else that's Anyway, for this bow, the limbs we use, it's, I think it's right here, the top archery traditional <laughs> stabilizer, makes the bow feel a little more balanced. And here's Here's an arrow rest that can make sure your arrow is balanced. And here's the arrow rest that can make your arrows more elevated if you want them to. Alright guys, so that's our ILF reviews on the takedown models you guys see. The, just so you can kind of get an idea of how this thing. I'm about 5'7", this bow is actually taller than I am. But, I have to say it's pretty, it's got a nice uh, comfortable handle right there for being a plastic handle. With an aluminum uh, riser right there. It's definitely a lot longer than what I'm used to. But uh, the pull is very smooth. It's a slight pull. It's not stacking. It fires incredibly smooth, especially with those gain points. I think those gain points are lighter than the field points. But overall, it, it works pretty good. So you got anything on that recurve? Well, the based on what I tested so far, these limbs, if I'm really corrected, this type of arrow from Big Rock Archery. The way I was pulling the string, it felt really smooth. I highly recommend it for like any kind of intermediate or beginner. Yeah, definitely, the, definitely this setup right here is definitely for target shooting. I don't realistically see this as a hunting bow. I see this more as a target shooting bow. That one I could see more as a hunting bow because you have more options for making it more traditional style right there. It's got the, the bomb swell is really nice on that bow. It's got a nice uh, long stabilizer. Mine, I kept my stabilizer a little bit short. I put just a drop rest right here so that way in case I, I drop it like you see I, I don't lose it it doesn't fall it doesn't hit the ground I'm not actually getting any hand shock whatsoever it's like I said very smooth the release is nice the sound is pretty limited on this one like it's pretty quiet for uh, for aluminum rise because most of the time you hear a lot of sound coming just from the riser but it's pretty quiet okay like I said how is uh, your bow sounding to you it's actually kind of quiet, kind of like yours. Yeah, right there, quite quiet. Like, how about when you were shooting that? How, like, how the sound, uh, sound there sound pretty decent, just like a thud. Yeah, it was kind of like a little bit of a boom, boom but yeah, like, like a thud. Yeah, but like I said, most of the sound I, I heard was from the target right there. But like I said, uh, the viewers will leave their comment on how much they heard right there. And your bows, like I said, you like your bows a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact. So that was definitely uh, much better for a packing, packing state. Yeah, I like to say 40 pounds, you can 
take that just about anything that you're doing. You're going uh, hunting, you're going uh, target shooting, depending on how you set up. But what, what's interesting is like that riser doesn't have any uh, drilled IMO holes for side tracer. However, most of the time we don't really use the sights anyways. Like I said, I, I shot just at 50 yards right now and most of my shots at the target roll nicely. They were smooth, everything was lined up. Cause as you can see, I'm just holding it like palm open right there. And it, like, it's not really leaning forward, it's not leaning backwards. Like I said, it's pretty well balanced. And so, cause this stabilizer, if you mind guys, literally has like no weight on it whatsoever. It's uh, just really just meant to hold everything together right there. But like I said, it's, it's pretty balanced on its own right there. Cause it feels a little, like it wants to tip forward, but it's still holding it itself. So like I said, that's a, I'd say that it's an A plus in my book. Now, like I said, making the string for this one was kind of a pain, which you guys, I actually didn't know that this riser was gonna be this long. I thought it would be around that size, but if we go and we kind of like put the bow side by side, you can see like the, the difference in the risers. So this one is definitely a lot longer. Right there. So like I said, overall, like the, they both perform really well. Like I said, I like long bows, a little bit more than recurves. This one's got a little bit more, uh, feel it for a recurve because that's what he started with but overall like each one like these bows they can be different in price i want to pay for the these limbs that came with that bow riser i paid probably 180 to 200 dollars for i paid at least believe it or not i paid like maybe 80 bucks for this riser alone so and those limbs right there i paid about 80 bucks for the other. So you're looking for uh, at least a 200 to 250 dollar investment for either one of these bows, depending on the style you're doing. Which is nice is I can actually take these limbs off and put them on that bow and put those limbs on this bow if I really wanted to. But overall, like this is the Hawaii or or the high bow. High bow. The uh, the high bow. Like I, I believe that's how it's pronounced. If I'm pronouncing it wrong. I apologize which guys was interesting on here is that it actually has another hole here and here that also would hold stabilized right there so i assume this is for like, like i said this looks like a target shooting bow so it has the stand right there so you can just put it on the stand or like you have a longer stabilizer on there so that's what i assume what that's for but overall this particular riser is very highly customizable i got guys, both of these bows i purchased off of aliexpress there was a long period wait time and if I didn't say right now, Happy New Year's to all you guys watching. If I hadn't said that before, thank you for tuning in. And I'd like to do a shout out to Sigman Archery. I know you watch all my videos and leave a comment on all of them. I thank you. And along with all the other viewers that like seeing these videos. So please like and subscribe and please help us by the end of 2025. Four? I think that's 2024, right? Yeah, 2024. Like help us at least get to three to 400 subscribers. And please uh, look into that. And we're also... We have another channel coming up for uh, Way Doc right here. Go and check out his uh, voice acting channel right there. Kind of see what kind of characters you want him to try to re, uh, not only uh, reenact, but kind of like give him a couple ideas. Give him, like throw some ideas out there for him. All right, so let's take over from right here. Like on that note. For me, uh, my, my channel is going to be like a voice acting channel called the Way Doc Dubs. If you want to find out more information, just go to the link that Brent's, that Archer, arrow that Arrow 343 is going to send. Anyway, I don't think I have that much to say, except you guys have a good day, and I hope you all have a happy new year. Yeah, like I said, tune in to all the videos we got. We have a whole list of uh, bows that we're going to be coming up into, and we're also going to start trying to do survival knives, survival shovels, uh, fire starters and like different ideas for camp kits right there and we'll kind of show you what we carry around our camp kits on one of our videos down the line whenever we go do one of our big hikes right there and hopefully we'll do a couple more range videos hopefully uh, we get uh, the green light for some of those in the future right there well like i said that's all we got for you today thanks for tuning in i hope you like both of these ilf bows and like i said we thought we might do a good review we were going to do these separately but like i said you got one ilf bow is no different than the other so like i said Thanks for watching and have a good day.